Well, hello and welcome back to another edition of At the Desk with Dave. Today is Monday, September 20th, 2010. Have you ever had things that you wanted to do and you really thought it was important you wanted to get it done? Whether it be lose weight, setting New Year's resolutions, having a task at work, a task at home, uh, improving a relationship. But what do we have to do to be able to really improve those things or make a change in ourselves? Well, we have to make a commitment. So the word today is commitment, and I want to explore that for just a minute. So here's the dictionary, and let's see what it says in the dictionary as a definition of commitment. Number one says, a committing or being committed. I like those definitions. They don't really tell us anything. Number two, official consignment by court order of a person as to prison or to a mental hospital. That's not real useful for what we're talking about. Number three is the one I like. A pledge or promise to do something. Dedication to a long-term course of action, engagement or involvement. I like definition number three. A pledge or a promise to do something. That could be to yourself or to somebody else. So the question we have to ask ourselves is we know we need to make a commitment, but how can we improve making sure that commitment actually gets executed? Uh, I make a lot of commitments. Uh, I make a lot of New Year's resolutions and I don't always see them through, so I'm guilty uh, as charged. A couple years ago, I made a New Year's resolution to eat more donuts. I finally decided to do what I think I could accomplish, so I'm guilty. But here's a, a five little tips on how to improve the level of your commitment. Number one, write it down. There's a lot of power in writing down a commitment or something we know we need to do. So take out a pen, don't just say it and say it's in my head, put it on a piece of paper maybe a little index card and put that little card on your dashboard of your car or whatever to make you focus on that thing that you want to improve on or that thing that you want to get done. Number two, say it out loud. Speak it. There's power in speaking it. Say, I want to lose five pounds in the next three months or, you know, I want to get in uh, better shape before next swimming season or I'm going to read three uh, relationship improvement books so I can have a stronger relationship with my friends, my wife, and my kids. Whatever it is, say it out loud and write it down. Number three, state it in public. If you're a member of an association, around family members, uh, maybe your Sunday school class at church, wherever you're around a group of people, say it out loud. Say, look, I'm letting you know this is what I'm going to do. That creates a little public accountability, and we'll get to that one in a minute. Number four, tell somebody that you respect and you want them to respect you because that kind of obligates you that commitment because if you say I'm going to do this to somebody you respect and they want you know you want them to respect you well if you don't do that commitment yeah we look like fuddy duddies when we don't do that don't we and number five is be accountable to it if it's something you really want have an accountability partner do those steps necessary to make that thing done we all can be more successful if we would take a stronger and make a more uh, a stronger effort towards increasing the level of our commitment. Uh, we live in a society today where we say a lot of things and we don't simply let our yes be yes and our no's be no's anymore. So real quickly, five ways to improve your level of, of commitment. Write it down, say it out loud, state it in public, tell someone you respect and you want them to respect you, and be accountable to it. I wish you a lot of luck in uh, having more success in your commitments as I wish myself luck in making sure I stay more committed and, and execute those commitments as well. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Again, I'm Dave Anderson. You can find me on the web at www.davidlanderson.com, and we'll see you next time on At the Desk with Dave.